In my last video, I talked about Virtual On for the Sega Saturn, and towards the end I mentioned that I played the game using the Sega Saturn Twin Stick, and this time on Worth Playing, I'll be looking at this controller in more detail the HSS0154 Sega Saturn Twin Stick. If you own a copy of Virtual On for the Sega Saturn or the PC, and if you're looking for a way to replicate the arcade experience, then you might want to look into this. The big box itself features Temjin from Virtual On and with the following text on the front. Twin Sticks recreate the excitement of the arcade game experience, family gaming with true to life arcade entertainment. I don't think I'd describe blowing up robots in one-on-one -on -one fights as family entertainment, but whatever. But enough looking at the box, let's break out the twin sticks. Visually, it's using a colour scheme that looks similar to something you'd find on a Sega Astro City arcade cabinet. You have two joysticks which have a button at the top and a trigger at the front. At the top of the controller, there is a yellow start button. Underneath, you have a metal plate with rubber feet. I like the design of the twin stick a lot. It's definitely something you'd see in an arcade and looks cool. The joysticks are also well built. The triggers give such a satisfying click and the button at the top is responsive. The sticks themselves have micro switches, so when you move them, you hear a distinctive click, something similar to an arcade fight stick. But enough looking at the twin stick, what's it like to use in Virtual On? In my previous video on Virtual On, all the footage used in that video was of me playing it with the twin sticks, and I enjoyed using it. It feels more natural to use as opposed to using the Sega Saturn controller, which I found was a bit more cumbersome to use. To move in a direction, you push or pull both of the sticks in the direction you want to go. To rotate, you pull both of the sticks in opposite directions, up and down, or down and up on the sticks. To dash, you press one of the buttons at the top. To fire the left weapon, you need to pull the left trigger, and vice versa for the right trigger. To use the third weapon, you need to pull both of the triggers. And finally, to jump, you pull both of the sticks out to the side. The Quality holds up in use. I never felt that any part of the controller was close to breaking. I could just use it and not worry about what I was doing. The buttons and triggers feel great and it just completes the arcade experience. It's a bit of a shame that this controller only works with a handful of Saturn games, such as Gundam Gaiden and Gun Griffin 2. It would have been cool to see this work with Bulk Slash as that would have given the experience of piloting the mech. This is my only complaint with the twin stick. Price-wise, this isn't cheap. If you're looking for the Sega Saturn model, then you'll be looking at paying between £70 to well over £100. The PC model is a bit harder to find, and you'll end up paying over £100 if you can find one. Is the twin stick worth using? If you want to get the arcade experience and are willing to pay for it, then absolutely. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time, and stay safe out there.